Good afternoon YouTube, Seven Lives Gaming, gaming from every angle and today I'll be bringing you another video on Gotham City Imposters. So I've got my PVR now as you probably can see by the quality of the video. So you won't have to worry about quality anymore. So it's just a quick game using a, a boosting class just to show you how to get boost and get high levels faster than you normally would be able to. So what all you really need for this is 80 Microsoft points to buy the quadruple XP. Well it's called Mega XP but it's actually quadruple. So what you want to do is you want to buy that then you want to make a class and set the site profile to passive aggressive so you have to be level 30 or above to be able to do this so get passive aggressive and then what you want to use is targeting goggles which I'm using now and motion sensors so what you want to do is target all the people you can just try and stay out the way of the fight and just target as many people as possible because each person you target that gets killed you get 100 XP but because of the Mega XP you get 500 and also if you throw a motion detector as you've targeted them as well that will be 200 so 100 for the targeting goggles and 100 for the motion detector so that's 200 so if you times that by 2 not 2, um, if you times that by 5 sorry that's obviously 1000 So you can get essentially a thousand XP, something like that. Anyway, I can't, I'm not really, I don't really know the exact maths, but you get a lot of, you get a hell of a lot more experience than you would. So, but you'll see at the end of this game. So as I do, the motion detector throw, the motion detector down, and target them as well. Probably the best maps to do this on is the docks because uh, normally everyone camps in that room so you can stand underneath and just target through the ceiling or amusement mile because usually everyone's round the top in the middle and you can just stay underneath and just target them and throw the detectors down as well but you obviously you can do it on any map but those two maps is probably the best time to, to try and do it I think I've had around a hundred assists because obviously you don't get a kill you get an assist for targeting them so I think I've had around a hundred assists maybe more on one game on um, amusement mile and obviously if you're doing this for the first time the the um, the rewards for doing the targeting goggles and the motion sensors like sensor dispenser one and targeting one and stuff like that if you, if you haven't got any of those yet you know like the challenges you can get for the support items and the gadgets if you haven't got them yet obviously that'll add up to your total score as well so it, it all helps to get more experience than you would this is definitely the best way and the fastest way to boost I usually do this when I'm around level 90 because when you get to 90 it takes a hell of a long time to, to get to 100 to be able to promote you need a hell of a lot of experience so it's always best to, to do this at that time but you can do it any time I mean I've done it at 30 before I mean I've got from level 30 to level 70 in a matter of 3 hours no, no not even 3 hours because each each experience boost you buy is lasts for an hour so I think probably about two hours yeah about two hours just by doing this on every game but mainly just staying out of the way try and avoid combat as much as possible I mean each kill you get you'll get quadruple for it so you get 500 experience to kill but it's just a hell of a lot easier just to to get the, the assists really I'm using the gatekeeper. 
like I said before, I think it's the best weapon in the game. And the jackhammer is a secondary. I don't know why I got that, it's just it's a it is a bullshit weapon, but I mean I've got a barely so I've never I never use a jackhammer so I thought well I'm if I'm gonna boost I might as well just try a jackhammer. Oh I feel almost normal. hilarious. <laughs> Didn't even realise it was there. Shouldn't be a rocket spammer. So I've just got motion tracker too. Just by throwing the sensors out and people getting killed with the, within the range of the sensors. Level and two. Just stay out the way as much as possible. Really, that's all I can really advise. So this was seven lives gaming. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope my commentary didn't get on your nerves, as I always say. So we'll just see how much experience I got at the end. So there you go. You see, I mean, that wasn't a very good game, and I got 21,000 experience. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks very much.